This HAN Network video is brought to you by Elevation Spin. From St. Joseph High School, this is the HAN Network's 2017 Spring Sports Tour. I'm Frank Renito sitting alongside the coach and a couple of the captains of the track and field team here for the Cadets Air. Coach Chris Blackwell, Ryan Hawk, and Kyle Leite. Gentlemen, thank you for taking time with us. Uh, let me start with you, Kyle. Being named a captain heading into the season, what did that mean to you? Um, well, it's, it's really an honor. I mean, uh, I came into running track last year at an outdoor and uh, to know that coach, you know, thinks that I'm right for the job, is, uh, it means a lot. Now, Ryan, we were just talking to you guys about five days away from that first meet. You'll have Central and Weston here next week. Uh, what has the preseason been like? How have you guys been getting ready for that race? Well, I think, you know, we've been doing a couple of preseason practices and everything like that, but really the guys themselves have taken it up, individ or taken it up individually to, you know, prepare themselves. Uh, they've been working out. We've been going for runs, um, getting a lot of the more technical side in these uh, last week or so. And, uh, yeah, I think we should come out strong for our first meet. Coach, obviously you've got to have a lot of faith in these young men right here. What role are they going to play on this team in keeping everyone together and bringing the cadets as far as they can go? Most of them just expect them to lead by leadership. That when they lead by example, that rubs off on everyone else. So they're just gonna perform. That's the biggest expectation I have for them. Kyle, if you were gonna give us a couple players who are maybe coming in under the radar this year, who should we keep an eye out for who could step up for St. Joe's? Um, well, our young guys, Mike Zanis, uh, Miles Hall, Darren Warren, they're uh, you know, come out every day, give everything they got, and they're uh, really gonna shine this season, I think. Um, a few other guys, we got some new guys, seniors, uh, Omar Telfer and Cameron Menefee. Uh You'll see, you'll see. It's, it's good. It's, <laughs> it's going to be good. Uh, Ryan, is there one meet in particular you're most excited for this season? Uh, you know, I think we're really just looking forward to the Invitationals. So I think our first one is uh, Bloomfield in a couple weeks. And we're looking um, to, you know, come up against big competition, really, you know, um, I guess make make a name for ourselves and uh, hopefully get into the state and FCAC meet. So, Coach, obviously the weather hasn't been the most cooperative here the past few weeks as you get closer and closer to that first meet. What has the training been like for the boys? How have you been able to accommodate through the tough conditions? Um, yeah, the weather it definitely is the hardest part of the training. Um, for the most part, we just try to uh, train around it. Some of the guys were real self-sufficient and they trained on their own, so that helped compensate it for the lack of weather that we had. All right, boys, one final question here for you. Throw a little curveball your way. Favorite pre-meat meal, what's your go-to? Um, I don't really like to eat that much before a meat, but after a meat, it's definitely uh, maybe like four or five donuts. <laughs> well, the night before, I'm all about that pasta and sauce, so... <laughs> A little carbo loading pre and post meet. <laughs> well, boys, thanks a lot for coming on with us. We want to wish you the best of luck this year. We're going to let you go. We'll welcome in the rest of the captains from the outdoor track and field team here at St. Joe's right after this. Back with the rest of the track and field captains here at St. Joe's. They are Josh Sigler, Stephen Tiberio, and Will Whitlock. Gentlemen, glad you could come on and join with us here today. Josh, what did it mean being named a captain heading into the season? Well, I mean, it kind of was a payoff of the work I've put in the past four years, and it's a good thing because I get to lead by example and show like the younger guys how they should act when they get to that my position. Now, Steve, as you come into this leadership role, what what does this group have to do to bring this team as far as they want to go this season? Uh, well, we want to develop the younger players, really uh, fo uh, have them focus on preparing for leadership roles. And we're, we're actually getting a lot of seniors and juniors to come out for the outdoor track team, and I think we'll be successful. Well, you were a captain in the winter season for the indoor team. How do you take from that experience and use it to your advantage now in the spring? Uh, well, the indoor season was definitely a learning experience for me. Um, it, it taught me how to act as a captain and how to lead by example um, and through work ethic and all that. And I hope to uh, transfer that into outdoor season and now with new guys next to me, um, form a much stronger uh, core group of leaders in our in our team than that we had in indoor season, and I think uh, it'll be a great season with that. 
obviously that bond is not just formed on the track but off the track as well what is this group like to do together when you guys aren't at practice well i mean we we like to hang out we go do stuff um when during school we always say hi to each other and yeah is there one meet in particular steve you're really excited for this year you guys are, are most looking forward to competing in well, uh, the last few years we've actually gone to the O'Grady Invitational, and uh, the steeplechase there is like our favorite event. We love to watch that. Well, I was, so my next question was going to be down the line here. If you could pick one event that you don't normally compete in, anyone on the board, which one do you think you'd go for? Um, I mean, I'm concerned for my health, but I think pole vault would be the one just because <laughs> uh, it's such a cool event. It takes a lot of bravery and uh, a lot of technical skill, which, which would be really cool to have, but it'd, be, it'd take a long time to learn. What do you think about that, Josh? Which one would you go for there? Steeplechase. <laughs> How about you? Uh, long jump. I like that. Well, boys, last question here. Ready? Let me throw you a curveball your way. Favorite pregame song? You're getting ready for the meet. What's the one pump-up song you got to hear? Will, go ahead. Oh, God. Um, our One of our the captain that was in last session, he actually made a pump-up playlist for us, and uh, he'll yell at me if I say the wrong song. So, <laughs> oh, God. Um, probably something by Drake. He'd approve of that. Favorite pregame meal? What's your go-to? Meal, pasta. Um, probably chicken parm. I like that. That's a good time, boy, right yeah. there. Well, boys, thank you so much for taking time with us. We want to wish you the best of luck this year. We can't wait to see you and the rest of the cadets out on the track. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Alongside the rest of the St. Joe's Cadets track captains, this is the HAN Network's 2017 Spring Sports Tour. Stay tuned as we roll on through the rest of the conference.